In this video, we will use the free software GIMP to take a portrait with a boring background and set it in front of a new background, like that. In the resulting image, you can still hide or show the main subject, or move it. In GIMP, we will use the Fuzzy Select tool, the Layers panel, the Scale tool, and the new Unified Transform tool. We will also create a backup layer and soften the background. I will show you the procedure rather straightforward, without deep explanations and without a layer mask. My name is Heiko Neumeyer. We will do everything in GIMP 2.816, but we will also check out some improvements in GIMP 2.9. I close this result and I open my foreground image. I drag it from the Windows File Explorer here on the right side onto GIMP's toolbox on the left side. In the toolbox on the left, first double click on this tool, the Fuzzy Select tool. It's also known as Magic Wand. Now let's check the tool options on the right side. Click on this second button called Add to the Selection. That way you can click into the image again and again and each time you can expand the existing selection without starting a completely new selection. Also use anti-aliasing. This option gives you smoother borders. The photo composition will not look like cut out and tacked on. Set this slider threshold to a value of 20 to 30. Now let's bring the subject onto a new background. This original photo has a very uniform background, which is very easy to select. So let's first select the gray background. With the Fuzzy Select tool, Click several times into the background, until it is completely surrounded by these black and white marching ants. If the Fuzzy Select tool catches only few pixels close to each other and with very similar colors, then set a higher threshold value here in the toolbox on the right side. If the tool selects two white areas with very differing colors, lower the threshold. So far, the background itself is selected. So next, use the command SELECT INVERT. Now the boy is selected. Then click EDIT COPY. Your main subject is now copied to the clipboard. You can paste it into different images and even into different documents in other applications. We will do this right now. So I get my new background photo. I have it here in the Windows Explorer and I drag it onto the GIMP toolbox on the left side. The next command is Edit, Paste as, New Layer. Here you have the main subject with a new background. On the left I switch to the Move tool and drag the boy into the middle. On the right I click onto the Layers panel and here is the main subject on its own layer. The layer is called Clipboard. The main subject appears too large, but before scaling it down, we will create a duplicate layer as a backup. You click on Layer, Duplicate Layer. The Layer panel now shows a new layer called Clipboard Copy. On the layer in the middle, click on the eye icon to hide this layer. This hidden layer is just a backup. If you edit and maybe ruin the top layer, for instance by repeated scaling, you can still simply delete the top layer and start over with the backup layer, which is still in original state. And by the way, if you don't see this Layers panel or the Tools panel, you can open them with this command, Windows Dockable Dialogs. Now, to scale down the portrait, we will here use the procedure in GIMP 2.8 first. In the toolbox on the left side, click on this Scale tool. Click on the subject once. Now you see a grid and the scale dialog. The scale dialog has this chain symbol. Make sure that the upper and lower part of the chain are connected, just as they are here. That way you protect the proportions of your main subject. It won't be unproportionally stretched or compressed. If the chain ends appear unconnected, click on the chain symbol once. But here we are already just fine. Click into the image and drag down to scale the main subject. 
GIMP will show the scaled version and the original size at the same time. Then in the dialog box click Scale to apply the change in size. By the way, you shouldn't click Scale more than once or twice per layer, because each scaling degrades the layer quality. So don't scale the layer 5 or 7 times by clicking Scale. Instead, go back a few steps and scale the layer again in one single application. In the toolbox to the left, I take the Move tool again. And I drag the main subject to a good place within the frame. So that was scaling and positioning in GIMP 2.8. Now I show you the same procedure with improved tools in GIMP 2.9, GIMP 2.10 or newer. This here is a preview of GIMP 2.9. The boy appears still too large for the frame. Just as we have done in GIMP 2.8, you could use this scale tool to change the layer dimensions. But here in GIMP 2.9, you should take this new Unified Transform tool. I double click now to also see the tool options. I click into the image. And we have the grid again, but I still don't see the edges of the grid with the handles. So I zoom out by pressing the minus key. Then I drag this square handle down. And in the same instance, I can here reposition the layer. To log in, I click Transform. That was the unified transform tool of GIMP 2.9. And here we get back to GIMP 2.8 and we put the finishing touches to our composition. But at this stage, I would like to save my work to hard disk. So I take File, Save As. Here you use GIMP's special XCF file format. That way all layers will remain intact and you can always change the layers independently from one another. For instance, you can still move or scale the boy without damaging the background. If you want a JPEG file to post on the internet, you use File, Export and select JPEG here at the bottom right. We are almost done. I just want to slightly soften the background so that it becomes less distracting. So in the Layers panel on the right, I click on the background layer to select it for editing. Then I choose Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I drag a significant detail into the preview box. And I experiment with the values. Then click OK. So here you see the main subject on a new background and it has been blurred too. I will simply save my work again. So that was it, a fast and simple photo composition in GIMP.